Today's math strategy video is on dividing unit fractions in word problems. So let's look at our first example problem. It says, Micah is running a six mile race. There are water stops every one half mile, including at the six mile finish line. How many water stops are there? Okay, so what I'm gonna look, do this model on is I'm gonna look at a number line here. So right here, I'm going to make sure I divide all these into my six miles. So here is zero, this would be one mile, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now it says that there are water stops at every half mile, including at the six mile finish line. So how many water stops are there? Okay, well, how many halves are in just one? Well, there are two, so that's gonna help us um, find out how many there are in six. So if I know that there are two halves in one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna divide all these into half. So here I have one half and then another half and so on, and that is a terrible half. One half, one half, and so on and so on. So remember in our previous lesson, um, if you saw that video, we talked about you know knowing when am I going to get a whole number and when am I gonna get a fraction? So like, what am I dividing here? Am I dividing a um, fraction by a whole number or a whole number by a fraction? So in this case, it says, how many water stops are there? So in this case, I'm gonna get a whole number. So I know that I'm gonna take my six miles and I am dividing it by one half. I wanna know how many sets of one half there are in six miles. So right here, this little model already tells me. So I have a half mile here, here, and then so on. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, because we're including the one at the end. So I would have six, and six divided by one half is the same as the multiplication problem as six times twelve. So all of these little sections would represent a half, and there would be a water stop at each one of them. Let's look at another problem. Okay, so this example says Felicia makes one half gallon of fruit punch. She pours an equal amount into eight glasses. What fraction of a gallon of fruit punch is in each glass? Okay, so here I know that I only have a half of a gallon and I'm dividing it um, into eight different glasses. So here I know that I'm gonna actually be getting a fraction that is smaller than a half because I'm taking a half and I'm dividing it among probably gonna be eight people drinking out of the eight glasses. So I'm gonna come over here, do my fruit punch, and then I'm gonna divide this into eight sections because these are gonna represent like the eight glasses. Okay, so imagine that these are eight glasses. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But I do have a new frac or a new denominator, which will give me a new fraction. So I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So each each glass would get one. 16th gallon of fruit punch. So if I took one half and I divided it by eight, this would be the same thing as one half times one eighth. And that would give me one 16th. One 16th gallon would go in each of the eight glasses. That is the end of today's math strategy video.